Welcome to the Tone Jerks Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Gower, and with me today is... Kyle McIntyre. Oh, yeah. So uh, we got a big old what's new, a lot of stuff to get into. So Kyle, what's new in your world? What's shaking? What is grooving? Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I hung out the other day with uh, Johnny Ray. I don't think we can go an episode without mentioning I his don't, name. I don't think it'd be. A, I don't think it'd be an episode. Yeah, if we didn't. <laughs> yeah, he drives our podcast. You know, yeah. he's like a ghost producer, ghost writer. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't even know it though. He's like Nicolas Cage. Yeah, <laughs> not go. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking. Oh wait, that's Jim Carrey. <laughs> you can't mix those two up. Ah, oh, the mask. I'm gonna derail this right away. That's probably one of the best movies. Mask is really good. Not you mask, sent... but the mask. Oh, the mask. <laughs> yeah, the mask is a good movie. You sent to freeze. It's time for an overall. <laughs> no, it's hold on to your oh, lug hold nuts. On to that's your lug nuts. A... Hold on to your lug nuts. <laughs> it's time for an overall. <laughs> okay, so anyways. So Johnny Ray, you uh yeah, we what's, hung out. what's new? It was kind of like on a whim, like, hey dude, you want to hang out at the studio? It's open. Yeah. Our our rehearsal space. It's like, yeah, dude. Um, let me grab some stuff. So yeah. some stuff to Johnny means like a like a full. pallet load of stuff. <laughs> so he brought um he brought a grabber, yeah, a Rick, a Rickenbacker S model. Oh, so that was like yeah, your and first then, time playing a Rick. Yeah. Right. Okay. So it's a pr- first time playing a uh I guess first time playing a Rick and first time playing a PV. He also brought the PV T forty, I believe is what it's called. Maybe T four hundred. I don't know, I went to look. Mm, anyways, but it I was can't. a bass amp, right? No, 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 no that's the bass. Oh, 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 I was thinking, because he brought, um, I'm jumping the gun. He has a, he brought a bass, he- bass head, but we never played it. Oh, because we were too busy. It looks cool, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he got the new bass, right? Yeah. Those things just look badass. Yeah, he said he got it for like 400 bucks, and it's like, it's like a solid, solid PV bass. It's, it's like, it's got like, the bridge. It's like, when you think of high mass bridge, you're like, oh, yeah, that's a Fender high mass bridge. This is like four times the amount of metal <laughs> In the bridge. That's a... It's huge. That's a massive mass. Yeah. <laughs> bridge. It's crazy. Yeah. And it sounded really good. Yeah. Um, the problem I have with the Rick is that, you know, it's like... It's like... Um, I think it's built more for show for me. Uh-huh. It's like, oh, you're going to fucking finger this. Boom, 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 boom. But boom, I like boom, to play boom, fast. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's going to walk around stage. Boom, 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 <laughs> and Johnny's going to call me out on this. But um, there is a, like a pickup cover. Yeah. I hated it. It was like right where I wanted to play. It's right where the action is. Yeah. And it like was cool. It's like, oh, I'll just rest my hand on this and play. And I was like, I felt like a complete loser doing that, by yeah. the way, just so you know. Um, but it was really cool playing it. It was still a great bass. Yeah, it felt, felt it good, sounded but... really good. It felt really good. And it was like a, it was a lighter weight version. Yeah. Um, I don't know anything about Rick's. I just know they're made in California. Mm. Um, and they make limited runs and they're expensive. Okay, uh, so. so to bring it back to that PV base, yeah, I uh, don't remember. Does it have like two humbuckers or what kind yes. of? Yes. Okay, so two it's humbuckers, like, kind of like bridge and like it's like a jazz base positioning, but like humbuckers, right? No, they're it's like like you have one bridge, of the bridge. neck. Yeah, yeah. So like a jazz base, but it's like right on the neck. It's not. Oh, it's not even in the middle. No. Okay. And it was like a thing where like you could like blend them, or was it what? Like, yeah, there like, were there were there were four knobs. And two switches. I let uh, Johnny mess with it because I was like... Basically just have, have them all up and all on, right? Yeah. There's no need to have a tone. Just like roll the tone all the way up. And then yeah. break the knob off. I mean, the the bridge <laughs> on that thing was crazy. It was absolutely <laughs> amazing. It looked like it was four pounds of fucking zinc or just whatever. The, just the saddles alone look like... <laughs> they're huge. They're more substantial than like the fender bridges. Yeah, exactly. And... <laughs> It's a cool bit, and he got it for real cheap. I yeah. mean, for like what it is, and those for like are like a like 70s, a, like American made PV. Yeah, PV, yeah. 70s and, uh, PV. They're just not like a, they're not like a popular brand because everybody's no. like harmonies and silhouettes are the old ones. I'm like, well, the wait, sleeper, is that is that the harmonies and silhouette like basses and guitars are like you know, you know, cheap guitars at the time, but they're oh, okay. now sleepers. Now they're good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But PVs like haven't caught on. Yeah, so and that, I get that. Johnny said it before. He's like, he's like, good. You know, yeah, more like, for me. <laughs> more for me. <laughs> Not like the old American made PV stuff. Like that's uh, that's where you ought to be looking. So yeah, that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, oh. it, was, it was a cool base, definitely. I think that was probably my favorite of the Johnny um, stuff. Yeah, even though I love grabbers, the way that Johnny has set up, 
No, nah, yeah. not my favorite. But the PB. We'll, we'll, we'll cover that yeah. later. Okay. Right. Yeah. Coming for you, John. He also uh, brought some pedals too, right? J- not just some pedals. A shit ton. Oh, this guy he brought... brought, <laughs> he, brought... And, like, he scratched the surface on his collection, but still, like, pedals I've never seen before. Yeah. Like, absolutely, I've, like, um, things that are not necessarily rare, but just, like, expensive and things I've never yeah. had to experience, you know? I mean, some of them are rare. Yeah. But, um, like, the the Maris uh, Mercury 7. That one's the reverb. Yeah. Really. That's cool. And it's got, like, a lot of options. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've, I've messed around with it a couple times, and I've still not been able to find out, like, where I want to be. Yeah, and where to like start kind of. Yeah, I'm like, shit. And like, there's a. It's definitely o- like a, like a, from a reverb perspective, which is kind of cool because it's almost like you have been asking for it. It's like, oh, I like reverb. I like crazy yeah. reverb. And, and I then think Johnny, Johnny's like, you know what? Fine. Here's, how's Here, this one? Here's your fucking answer. It's like a Matilda. It's like, oh, you like chocolate cake? <laughs> <laughs> Eat it, bitch. You like reverb, don't you, boy? Yeah. And so, eat up. <laughs> yeah, I think when I first started messing with it, I didn't know what I was getting into because I, I there's two different like settings that affect the whole. Yeah, there's like shimmer, there's octave, there's mm-hmm. like fifths. There's and it's weird. It's not like a a selector dial where you you basically it clicks and like, oh I'm on I'm on shimmer now. Yeah. Oh I'm on tape echo. It's like it's just a smooth like a linear style knob. Yeah, it's almost like you're blending into the next. You can feature. blend, which is cool. Um. But I'm like, shit. Where am I on this? Like, am I am I in Shimmer still? Like, I, like I'm lost in the in the yeah. universe right now, and this is not helping me. Yeah, find my place. Like, <laughs> it's a cool pedal. <laughs> yeah, no, it's but I, I think I, I need to f- mess with it some more. You're only like a couple days in. I tried it. Couple I, days. I, I tried it yesterday. It's on a hike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I I tried it yesterday, and I'm like, ooh, that's a lot of pedal. Yeah. Oh, uh, and where it's like. You have, like, you have those standard settings and there's like a second, uh, there's a secondary, you, you hit, you hit a, like a little tiny little clicky button on the yeah. side and it, it brings you to, uh, it takes you from the ultra plate to the cathedral and it's like, it changes the size of the room, I oh, guess. Oh, okay. Or like yeah. whatever, like shit. I know, uh, Ko was mentioning something like yeah. that. It's like, oh, if you guys figure what the hell this thing is, let me yeah. know. Yeah. And I think I. I if think you guys I'll have figure to do, out what the heck this thing is. Let me know. I'm gonna have to do is <laughs> pop open the box. Yeah. Put the pedal aside and pull out the manual and just read it. It's like a book. I, it's like an encyclopedia. <laughs> yeah. You're like, <laughs> yeah. It's dusty. <laughs> <laughs> um. There's that, and then the uh, we tried out the banana. Do you remember that? We, yeah. We actually messed it, that. It's the other a day. mini pedal that has like a <laughs> billion fucking knobs and switches on it. Oh my god. Okay, it maybe has like a, what, like six, seven, eight it's got, knobs or whatever, uh, but like switches. Oh yeah, it's got six knobs yeah. on it. Um, the center knob, which is cool. It's like a clear. It's a clear knob. Oh god, yeah. No, and you're right. whatever setting you're on is whatever color. It, yeah, it's like color it, coded. It'll, it'll switch, which is really cool. It'll actually. switch to different type of reverb settings with delays and it's it's. There's an error delay. There's an octave up, octave down. Yeah, it's it's kind of like well, that's pretty bonkers for a mini, shimmer. mini pedal. Yeah, for yeah. a mini pedal, it's like everything's packed. Yeah, in well, there. yeah. We never said it. it's a mini pedal, so like, well, maybe we'll like post pictures and shit like that. Like I know we'll. Uh, it's I tried it and I'm like, man, that's a lot of pedal. In a small amount of real estate. Yeah, it's the abracadabra that. from Banana. Ban- banana, effect. yeah. Shit, and it's funny. It, it looks like a banana. Like, um, a, like an unpeeled banana or something like that? Yeah. Right? No, it looks like you're peeling it. Like yeah, the, yeah, okay. The wider yeah. is the actual, where they like printed all the uh, um, info on what it, what every knob does. and It's printed so small. Yeah. Like, no, yeah, yeah. You better was, have glasses or magnifying glass yeah. if you have shitty eyes like and me. And they're like... <laughs> oh yeah, you like mini pedals? Yo, know, what, what Boom, is, bitch. <laughs> you have a mini like boost with one knob. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna do fucking nine dials and oh knobs and toggle switches. <laughs> and even on the center dial that I was saying with the LED, it's got nine settings on it. This is man looks at pedal counts. <laughs> yeah, I had to count. <laughs> Because it goes around in a circle. I can't count in a circle. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I I really dig that. And then uh, what, Mercury 7 from Source Audio. No, nope. Is that right? No. You're mixing them up. Oh, shit. Mercury Source 7 Audio. was from Maris. Maris. And then Source Audio Nemesis. There delay. you go. You got it. You're back. You're back. 
You got this. So that's their like uh it's like a Strymon like flint size thing. Yeah. But it has like the like different like it's like a delay machine in a in that enclosure. That one's pretty cool. It has like ten or eleven, maybe twelve different delay st- delay styles. Yeah, I think we bar like I we tried that yesterday after practice and I was like um barely like scratching the surface on it and then I'm like, Oh yeah, we were just like Maybe it's just like we were both like lit at the time, but we're like, <laughs> I'm like playing something. I was like, oh, you like playing something on guitar. You're like, I'm going to grab my bass. And we just like started just like jamming and writing yeah. stuff. And I like, I've said this before and you can mark my words. I said, I hate jamming. Yeah. But I'm like, there was at a point where we were, were like jamming out a song and we wrote yeah. um, like, I'm like, oh, this is perfectly like good for a song. Let's like just do a quick demo of it. And then we're going to write lyrics for it. I'm like, if oh, you had it on the degrade setting yeah. on that. And Which it is was, cool. It degrade as the repeats go. It degrades the the, yeah. the quality of the sound. And you know, like I said before, it's like if people want to say like, "Don't rely on your pedals to create sounds." I'm like, well, it was something that we were both inspired yeah. by a type of sound of this pedal. I'm like, we were both there. That like, maybe it's like just like happen. You know, we're like, both human. You know, yeah, shit happens. Circumstance and right there at the same time, with cool tones. I'm like, <laughs> song was born. So that was a cool pedal. Yeah. I dig that one. What else you got? Um, you said he had some Earthquaker stuff too, right? Yeah. So the- Johnny's an Earthquaker fan. Yeah. Um, let me, I can't remember. Was what it was Arpanoid? It? Arpanoid. Yes. So the oh. Arpanoid is an arpeggiator. Arpeggi- okay. That, yeah. Arp. Yeah. That makes sense. So it, uh, for me, I had a really hard time trying to dial in like something. Like figuring out what to do. <laughs> yeah. It's so complicated. So like- on like the settings knob. So yeah. there's like, there's eight settings. Yeah. Right. The first four are major and then the last four are minor. Oh God. So, so that's like actual scales. So, well, yeah. Right. So yeah, well, like, it does it by itself. Okay. So it'll go like, do, 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 instead of, I don't know, whatever minor sounds like. So yeah. it, you could have it go four, you know, one up, two up, three up, four up. Ooh. And then random is the fourth one, but it's random and ma- and major. Okay. And then five would be down. Yeah. In minor. That sounds really hard to make usable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm 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 sorry, not I'm wrong, not down in minor. It would be the same things, you know, one up, two up, three up, four up, but mm-hmm. in minor. There's mm-hmm. another switch for up or down. And then there's so you, like it goes between major okay. And then you can have the center. There's another so on that same up or down switch. There's one that would have it go up and down. So instead of so and then you could have like the classic from uh, Wayne's World. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was really hard to dial in, but I found some cool settings. Actually, I was like, oh, that sounds cool. Just ran with that for a while. And, yeah, yeah. Huh, that's. Sounds like a hell of a hell of a day, hell, Man, of, a, hell it, of a week for I you. Think it was we, like we started at like maybe seven or eight. Yeah, we got a couple beers, and then like at a, one o'clock, we realized we probably should like like go to work the yeah. next morning. <laughs> we, so we, we had to go make home. This go, yeah, yeah. So that's that's it. I mean, yeah. So it's it good times. Yeah, that was, was pretty sick. What about you? What do you got for new? Um, you know, I had a new uh. New pedal day. Or it's not really new pedal. It's a mail day. Like, uh, borrowing uh, from uh, courtesy of Jim Bowers. Yeah, it's new to you. I mean, it's... Yeah, he's uh, lending me some more of the Nocturne Brain pedals. Nice. And it was, like, specifically, it's uh, some of their uh, Tavo, um, his uh, brain preamp pedals. No, oh, nice. This is kind of a thing that I've been, like, wanting to try. Because I, I kind of like to have a preamp in front of, like, whatever amp I'm using. Because it just... Yeah. It makes things just sound better and a little more dynamic without adding like, you know, tons of gain as necessary or whatever. So currently in the, uh, you know, in the pool from a gym, I'm borrowing. <laughs> you have a pool filled with them now? Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he initially lent me the Billy brain and I tried yeah. that at a show, but he, it's like that one is like made to be like higher gain and higher DB. And I'm mm-hmm. like, well, you know, this is cool, but I'm like, I almost had to have like it barely it, like, on. Bring it, yeah. Bring it down a little bit. Because it's, clipping my fractal because i have oh. a dig- i run it and perform my fractal i'm like uh, it's cool but i'm like it just doesn't play as 
kindly with my setup. If I had a more traditional, like mas- non master volume kind of amp or whatever, like kind of like what more of uh, Tavo uses, it's like you know Fender old old school Fenders and his own amps and stuff like that. Yeah, that might be more beneficial for me. But I'm like, well, you know, I'm using this and I'm using a more complicated four kind of five cable method amplifier and you know fractal and digital processing live. You don't want anything to flub. Yeah, flub I don't. Out. I don't need to like clip my fractal. And so, like, I mentioned that to Jim, and he's like, oh, shit, okay, no, you know what, I got something for you. <laughs> I got just the thing for you. <laughs> yeah. And so he sent me a couple of the other ones, which is the Dino Brain and the Atomic Brain. So I have the those three, and apparently, like, I'm trying to figure it out, and it's like, okay, like, I can read the specifics, like, on uh, the Nocturne Brain website, but I'm like, it gets into, like, very, like, specifics, like, this chip and this clipping diode and this from blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what is this? What's the difference? <laughs> and so I talked cool. to Cool. Yeah, thanks. Um, can we go back to the Can beginning? you talk to me like I'm five? <laughs> <laughs> explain you, like I'm five. Can you explain it to me like I'm two? <laughs> like I'm two. <laughs> and I'm like, and then the thing the biggest thing is like I you know, you're gonna figure out by just playing them. And then uh, you know, Jim sent me that and he kinda gave me like I'm like, Oh, can you give me like a little bit of a lowdown between the difference of these? And it's cool. So like the I think the dyno brain is kind of more of my deal because I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't want it to like push my amp so much as it is like, I want the dynamics. Yeah. And I'm just guessing that's what dyno means. Like it's a dyno with a Y. Not a dinosaur. Yeah, not a dinosaur. Um, it's like, adds more of like the picking dynamics and stuff like that. It has like oh, kind okay. of like, a has like a volume control and like a bit of the preamp gain, quote unquote. It's not like, kind of gain it's like mm-hmm. it just like adds a little bit like a flavor so i'm like i really like these kind of like because i have my amps and i love my amps and um i want some pedals just to add a little bit more and i want to have that you know ba- like when i have a preamp pedal before my fractal i want to have that like on the go kind of like you can hit it and get what you want a little or, more or I, or I run it all the time i can get yeah. the feel of like the show i'm like i have my amp set and I know what's going to be too much for my yeah. presets on my fractal. But if I get to a show, I'm like, okay, a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And I can do that with a... You could do one knob instead of having to go into your fractal yeah, and adjust and like, everything. Like, I'm like, you know, like, you know, mm-hmm. key master over there with my keyboard. I'm like, no, I can't do that at a show. page master. Yeah, page master. Like, you can't do that at a show. So I'm like, oh, that's why I love having preamp pedals. I'm like, this, so far, I'm not going to like, you know call it too early but the dino brain seems to be doing it for me and i nice. like it a lot so uh atomic brain is kind of cool because it gives you like an extra like a little bit more it's a that's kind of the middle one of what i'm finding out i'm sure jim and tavo he's probably not listening but if you did probably not <laughs> he'll call me out but i think i want to say like the lowest gain is the dino mid gain is atomic and higher gain is billy brain i might be making that really does, basic does tavo do custom graphics I don't think so. No. Okay. Just wonder. So I don't think crazy he, question. I don't think he'll do an anime pedal. Oh, okay. Damn it! You and blew so, the load. Yeah. The lid. So I, I blew the load all over that one. <laughs> I said lid. <laughs> you said load. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Play it back. So that's about all I got. Let's uh, roll into a couple topics. What do you say? Let's do it. All right. Uh, so this is one like I gotta speak it out. Like I, I've like sent you multiple text messages messages and mm-hmm. told you about this yeah a couple times so i had to explain this one before you act like okay you I'm, I'm now you're to, demeaning the, me no no the viewers out there so this one like let me let, hear me out first and you'll hear you'll you'll get it so the whole okay. the whole idea that i had it was like a shower thought i'm like okay you could pick two pedals that you could double up mm-hmm. so a total of four pedals but they have to be the same pedal twice and that's your whole board. Mm-hmm. What are you going to choose? And and like you're like, wow, what, why did it take you so long to like say that? I'm like, well, because you know, like over when text math messages, is involved, people <laughs> fucking get crazy. Like, so wait, so we doing like four pedals? We doing two pedals? Wait, what which was it one? eight? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> How do magnets work? <laughs> okay, so that was the whole thing. I'm like, you can pick two pedals, exact same pedals. Yeah, you can have different settings on them or whatever. Uh huh. But it has to be the same two pedals twice so like pedal a two of pedal a and two of pedal b yada yada that's your whole board four pedals could you explain that again i don't think that our our listeners are really you know keen what i don't think you even understand 
I, I don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So you got it. Yeah, I got it. And we uh, this was a little like uh, pre-show stuff. Yeah. So we have our list uh, figured out. Kyle, yeah, a, uh, you're going to lay it on me. You were super secretive about this. You would not yeah. even let me look at uh, your notes. Yeah, I'm hiding them from you. Poker yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> I got a poker face. Um, uh, so I had uh, two H9s. Jesus <laughs> That's like a multi multi pedals. Exactly. <laughs> You're like a, Fuck you. I'm killing I'm your game the here. system here. Yeah. Okay. So two H nines. But then you could really you could really only run two at a time. Yeah. Two you effects, only... but you could really play the play the crowd you know, not the crowd, but like, oh, I'm playing Yeah, but you these, have the set and I need uh I guess here's I'm gonna throw another thing. You have no uh MIDI switcher. So you have to like if you want to switch settings, you have to like mm-hmm. I'm not going to I'm using I'll use one for each. Uh-huh. Okay. So, boom, gotcha on that one. And that's uh, it's actually a burn on me because that's a really expensive, like, <laughs> got you. Spent $1,000 and got I, you. Like, I kill my bank account, but yeah. I got you, bitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think... Uh, no, I think uh, I've never tried an H9, but they, like, I'm like, they look and, like, the hype around them seems really big and really cool. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, Pete Thorne plays one, so they're probably oh, pretty shit. good. Oh, shit. Pete Thorne? He plays two. Who's that guy? <laughs> He's the one dude on Nobody your, cares. Okay. <laughs> You're waiting gotcha. for me to, like, gotcha again, bitch. Gotcha. You're, like, building up your head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get him. In. Wait for it. Wait for it. Got him. <laughs> okay. Has there any? Has there uh, been any, like, presets or, like, settings that you've looked up that you really want to try? No. Okay, you just, like, know, I just know that, that they can do anything. You can, yeah. You have a shitload of options. Okay, what's your second? So if verb? you wanted to do like a delay and a reverb, you, you got do, it. Yeah, you got and you got one, it. one of each. Yeah, and that break. Yeah, gotcha. And then you have your uh, modulation on yeah, there. You, you could the, do it that. It does drives, all that stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then I pick two drive pedals. What'd you pick? You may not like it, but um, I got uh, two Spitfires. Okay, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> And Spitfire, for people who don't know, it's is... It's from uh, Lauren Audio. Okay. So I'd get a, you know the regular graphic and then the black graphic, or maybe a custom graphic, yeah. whatever, but who cares? And they have like a bunch of different clipping options. Yeah, so that that's kind of cool. So that's like a cheating kind of thing, too. So exactly. Like, oh, you totally cheated same, your, your Same game. pedal, but like different diodes. Yeah, that you can, like, I went like, oh, well, I need to find uh, some pedals that have some different options, so I went through both those. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think there's like three or four different clipping options. Yeah. Which makes it kind of cool. It's mm-hmm. like, I don't like that. F- change it. You know, flip that shit up. Flip the lid on that. Flip that. So, yeah, that that's my four. That'd I mean, be like a really versatile four pedal pedal. <laughs> would it? <laughs> yeah. It'd be really? Pretty, yeah. You'd be like, you'd cover a ton of bases. Yeah. All so, right. for mine, I guess I, as long as. Uh, yeah, as long as it took me to like hammer that down and build that up and explain it to everybody, like you know, a bunch of times I was Brian explaining it. <laughs> a bunch <laughs> of times, <laughs> don't Brian explain this to me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use that later on. Yeah, like God, don't kill me over this. <laughs> don't Brian explain me. <laughs> um, so I choose like I chose uh two single size conventional pedals. What boring? <laughs> yeah. So uh, I chose uh, from a drives. Mm-hmm. My favorite overdrive pedal, the uh, Sweet Honey Overdrive from Matt mm-hmm. Professor. Yeah. Did that twice. And that is a pedal that can do like um, barely on, like give your amp just like the breakup sound. Yeah. Or you can like crank it and get like really great, like overdriven, like I want to say like martially kind of tones. So you would have one like barely breaking mm-hmm. up and the other one like fucking extreme. Yeah. Got it. And like one that could like, you know, stack, stacking them pretty much. And, uh-huh. like, one or the other kind of situation that's a good i like that yeah and then um this is an idea that i actually did have before i got oh, god uh, brace yourself my other pedal two carbon copy oh mxr carbon copy delays uh-huh. analog delays i love that pedal so much uh and at the time when i was using more of a conventional pedal board instead of a fractal uh-huh. i um loved the carbon copy so much but i was like oh shit i'm at a point where i'm like in the set sometimes i need a slap back delay Mm-hmm. And I also need the longer, uh, more ambient style delay for like um, bridge parts and solos and stuff like that to kind of like, okay, be longer yeah, and not so. Yeah. sound, yeah. Yeah. And like, you know, for um, slapback, it's great. And it's great for the ambient parts too. I'm like, oh, and I had the idea of like, I should just buy another carbon copy. 
And that way, like, during always, a set, I could, like, switch between the two. And I just, always like, wanted another one. Yeah. Just to have another one. And I was like, man, you know what? That'd be great. And then I talked myself out of it, and I got a DD7. It was okay. It was pretty good. So you wouldn't spend another $70 and buy another carbon copy? Um, no, I mean... How about I, I do that? Yeah. So at, at, that's what I thought at the time. And then I ended up being like, the Boss DD500, I'm like, oh... Yeah, that's this is good. that's great. This is my only delay pedal that I need because <laughs> it'll do like analog watch it, delays. Watch it now. Yeah. Okay. The only one you're that talking I, about, my friend. The only yeah. gigging <laughs> pedal uh, for delay that I need. Okay, I, like I get that. it. Have you gigged with a delay pedal yet? No comment. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I may. I may just do it. You watch me. You throw it on and it just self oscillates during the set. You're like, oh, I don't do. <laughs> I can't stop it. I'm new here. <laughs> Step yeah. on it. Oh, oh, yeah. Haven't you been in the band for like 15 years? I don't know. You guess as good as mine. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. And like the sound guy has to come and comfort you. I'm like, I'm sorry. This happened to you. This happens all the time, man. <laughs> Bass players and their de- delay pedals. <laughs> Here's a cup of cocoa. Thanks, man. <laughs> Do you have a snuggie for me? <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Just kidding. I brought my own. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but uh, I think between those two, I would. Uh, would you to... go carbon crop copy the traditional or the bright? I've never tried the bright, and so just to be safe, I would do the carbon copy. And for the sake of the game, which I was trying to say here, like you to like, I'm surprised you didn't be like. I'm doing four helix line sixes. <laughs> <laughs> no. So I can have a, a tap dance and be like big style. This is why there's rules to games because yeah. Kyle ruins them. Kyle ruins them. You think H9 ruined it? Well, yeah, because that's like every pedal. Exactly. But I guess it does like hinder you can it because only it's use one. Exactly. At, that's at why I picked it. If it was like, <laughs> I, like a helix. <laughs> I got. <laughs> Four fractals. You're like doing. <laughs> I'm bringing it back. You're doing like twister on it. Like, oh, I get all these sounds. Yeah, I'm not even just playing I'm, anymore. I'm only on four pedals. You're like Bo Banton. <laughs> yeah. If I reach this one and tap this one, uh, all about the bow. All right, I think we've uh, had it with that one. Yeah, I think we killed so, it. Yeah. So I got, I got, I got another one for you. Yeah. So, uh, loose topic here. So, uh, the gig bag versus the hard case. Yeah. Uh, what's acceptable where and when? So, like, talking about, like, gig bag, hard case. For, for everything. For guitar, pedal board, accessories, whatever. I've even seen, seen heads that have a gig bag. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, covers and stuff like that, too. I get it. So, uh, do you want to, you know, give your thoughts? What's your what's your yeah. hot take on the gig bag versus hard case? Um, I do pretty much hard case for everything. Everything. Yeah. I don't like to put my bass in a soft case. Okay. I don't think you ever have. No, I don't. I used to have a gig bag for my uh, Squire, Squire Affinity, Affinity bass. That okay? we never gigged with. Yeah. Never gigged with that thing. But that was like when you were a kid. But you notice, like, you take, well, I used to take it to school, you know, like yeah, yeah, to yeah, school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you're like, you pull it out and you're like, fuck, this thing's out of tune. Yeah. Even as, you know, young as I was. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, fuck, as, man. As spry as I was. Yeah. <laughs> Spring chicken. Yeah. I know spring chicken no more. <laughs> I was sprung. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So I, I, that's one downside I see with like the super floppy, lame, like like the, the, the gig bag that comes with the bass. Yeah. It's that's like, different. I think than the, the, like the soft case you buy separately. Yeah. Like, like the, the, the after, hard, the like the, the hybrid style where they're like yeah. a rigid s- style, but they're still soft. Yeah. Where it's nice to wear it on your back. Mm-hmm. And throw a, you know, has like two loops you can wear as like a backpack. Yeah. I think that's kind of cool. Sometimes if you're carrying a bunch of shit, that's great. Okay. But that doesn't work in a tour situation. Okay. I guess that's where like the difference is. Mm-hmm. So I think a gig bag, um, I have one gig bag. Mm-hmm. I, I lie. I have a gig bag for like an acoustic squire that I'm like, I just leave like at my work. Yeah. We have like this like area of like a, coat closet and I'm just like I throw it in there. I'm it's like, like a vinyl case, right? It's yeah, like it's, it's like it's like yeah, barely there. So it's a it's a soft gig bag, but it's not like you know, um mono case. 
Mm-hmm. But I have a legit mono case that it's like, it's kind of a universal like electric guitar case. Yeah. You can fit like Strat in there, you can fit Tellys or Les Pauls or whatever. And I have one of those that I use uh, when we play like certain gigs just in San Diego. Mm-hmm. And it's super helpful when you need to be like kind of grab and go situation. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, to bring it back, well, now I guess I'll carry on with this point. So gig bag is great for like a grab and go quick load yeah. onto the stage, quick load in, done, go, here we go. And you're not going like you in have, a van. You're not like, you, you have know, different, you have a bunch of pockets on a lot of those newer ones. Yeah. And this is, thing, which like, is you, cool. You can kind of keep like everything, like you can eliminate some of the other like pieces of equi- like gear that you bring, like, you know, um, cases for, you know, cables and stuff like that. you can just put them all in your gig bag. Yeah. Cause most hard shell cases, like, yeah, you can keep like pigs, a tuner or maybe. like a capo in a hard shell yeah. case. That's it. But a hard shell case, like you could stack those on things. Like, you're not going to worry about it. Like, Breaking because yeah. I have a Gibson, it already has a broken neck. Oh, I have a Gibson, it has a broken neck already. Like that shit might break again. Like you just look at it. I don't it, think so. You blink. Which one are you thinking about? Because you have a lot of Gibsons, but yeah. which one are you thinking about that may break? Uh, um, you know, so I'm thinking about my, my pink Les Paul. Yeah, so you just like drop kick it, S- <laughs> like step on it I have to get a cr- crowbar and break it. Bing, Wait, bing, but bing. I thought it made it stronger. I think it does, but I'm like, I'm still not like, like trying could, to find yeah, out. I'm not, I don't want to <laughs> test that theory. <laughs> Well, shit. The, the headstock, you Ain't know. that a bitch? <laughs> like, I guess they were wrong. I guess they were wrong. That one forum I'm a part of. Damn. Everybody said it, but, you know, don't believe everything they say. <laughs> now I got a bunch of fucking sawdust over here. Um, So that's where I'm, like, thinking of, like, a gig bag of, like, a bring, like, a quick load yeah. and go situation, you know, deal. And um, we've done that with, like, shows where we've played, like, almost, like, festival-type things. Mm-hmm. And where it's, like, okay, um, we've played stages where they're, like, it's not, you know, no backline provided. Which, mm-hmm. like, you Fuck. should fucking have, like, a backline or something. Yeah. But it's, like, they're, like, okay, every, every band brings their amps. Drums are provided, but, mm-hmm. like, no cabs, no nothing. So, I'm like, okay, shit. So, um, we brought like the, our smallest amps cause we know they at least DI and mic everything. It's a really good sound stage, but they are like, you know, I don't want to like bring in like two by twelves or half stacks into this like festival. It's like a, you want beer. like a one shot. Yeah. It's a radio, radio beer festival, stuff like that. Yeah. And you're like, yo dude, there's like a couple thousand people here in this one small area. I'm like, yeah, oh, like I'm never going to be like, you have to fight the crowd to get cause of. How poorly the building's designed, or like you have yeah, to fight the like, crowd to get to the stage. Yeah, and there's different stages everywhere and stuff like that. And like, oh, I'm gonna just, cut through the, the the back of the stage. Like, oh, that's the kitchen, man. Nah, dog. Yeah. So, <laughs> so oh, okay. Uh, so, um, this one, it's like okay, we we were like more seasoned, so we knew like okay, bring the minimal amount of gear. Yeah, yeah. Bring the quickest thing and quickest load in because you got one trip. If you can make it one trip, you're golden. Yeah. And so we did. So I was like, okay, I had a gig bag with the mono with like one guitar. I had like cables and all my shit in the gig bag. I had a gig bag for my pedal board. So my fractal, I put it on a PT Junior and I had yeah. that in a gig bag. And then I brought, I think like a, a DW like a kick pedal bag. Just for the, the for drummer? Like some, some other like, no, no, just for other like. Oh, the bag itself. Yeah, for other like cables or Got capos it. or any e- extras that we might need. I always bring like just extras Garbage. of like, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> like picks for the bass player who doesn't Miller ever lights. bring any. <laughs> and then, um, but you, I mean, you were able to bring, because you just had like a like your bass and we brought a combo. So like, you and I both loaded into this place like yeah. one trip. One like, trip. Our hands and our like sh- shit on our yeah, shoulders. literally. And like we it, loaded in. It was Boom. downtown. So you got, you parked your car, you unloaded. And that was it. Like I mean, you could you could have grabbed more, but also the the staging area to put your stuff was really small. Yeah, so we already knew that, and then we saw other bands that were loading in like half stacks and shit like that. I'm like, oh, no, you guys fucked up, noobs. But you bunch of noobs over here. I'm like, yeah, good <laughs> luck carrying that like through yeah. the through this like you know fucking crowd, like crowd of drunken like, assholes. Yeah, thousands Maybe of people they weren't assholes, but no, they, they were, were super nice. Drunk. But it's like they're definitely drunk. And so stuff like that. I'm like, okay, that's that to me is like perfect for like a gigging situation, like. Put it, you're putting it in your car and you're putting it, like, you know what you're doing with it. Yeah. And sometimes with, like, if you're doing a tour or anything, like, super extensive, like, a gig bag, I'm like, that's just not going to last. No. Because 
to be the, the things that are in gig bags have to sit on top of everything. Yeah, you have to stack. Sometimes uh, the best way to do it is like never tour with a trailer. Yeah, tour in a van because you're you, you're restricted on how fast you can go. You're yeah. like you can't park in certain places with a trailer. You're like you're just shooting yourself in the foot. And like not everyone in your band may not know how to drive with a trailer. Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, not that it's rocket science, but it it's like it's another level level of physics you have to worry it's about. A whole another level. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, yeah, with that, I'm like, okay, so like your best bet is to go in the smallest vehicle you can to save on gas, to save on park, you know, parking, to make everything easier mm-hmm. on your life. And so with that, I'm like, okay, you might have to stack like, you know, from, you know, floor to ceiling with gear. And so like when everything's in a case, guess what? It all basically locks into place and you can mm-hmm. stack things in and it's like, you don't have to worry about like, Oh, my base might break or whatever. I'm like, no, it's a hard case. It's it's sitting on top of a, a, a guitar or whatever. Unless you like wrench up on it. Yeah. <laughs> you should like, be fine. No, it's, it should be, should be great. So I'm like, that's to me, I'm like, if I had to choose between the two, hard case, hard case, hard true. case is always going to be great. You know, and you I might, have, I have a gig bag for my pedal board. Yeah. But when we drive anywhere, the pedal board usually goes in between. Like seats or like yeah, in between bags seats or something like that. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't go where all the rough and tumble shit goes, you know? Yeah. But yeah, to <laughs> me, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, gig gig bags are great, but it just, uh, to me, I'm like, you're kind of like. You're limited. Yeah. You're like, I'm going to save a couple bucks, but not getting the hard case. No, like, yeah. but it'll fuck you over in the long run. <laughs> if yeah. you're if you're playing out, if you're not playing out, fuck it. Never, you don't even need a case. And we're not talking about like ATA. We're not talking about you know, the, which uh, those are tight too. Yeah, but um, those are a little much sometimes. Yeah, and I think we we toured with one. Yeah, we did that once, and we realized I'm like, no, this is which way too. Tour with a live in uh, four ten case for the Ampeg and a live in like two twelve combo. Yeah, thing. and it was great. Yeah, it was great, but it took up too much room in, in the, the, the kind of yeah. situation we were trying to. Yeah, if we had a trailer, it'd be great. But drop I mean, the drop the ramp, roll it out. But for a a Conaline, yeah, it wasn't even the extended one. I don't believe. Yeah, and so with that whole situation, I'm like, you guys might not know this, or you guys maybe you do, but like when you're on tour, like space is at a premium. Yeah, like if you could save like a like a whole square foot. Of space, you're like combined. Great. You're like something else can fit there. We're living there. like kings. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I can actually stretch my feet out when I'm sleeping. <laughs> yeah, you know, it depends on where you are. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, you always pack it light and stuff like that. So that, we think of that whole thing. But it's like you know, you add a little bit more by doing the hard case. Yeah, because you can stack things and be more secure. For and me, safe. I think you start with the hard case and get a gig bag later. You don't get the gig bag first. And then get a hard case. I 100% agree with that. And that's against what a lot of people think. Yeah. Because they're like, gig bag's cheaper. You can always do that. And I'm like, but well. But it's safer in a hard case. Yeah. Always. And, and then people are, you know, people could say that it's harder to store hard cases. Oh, well. I'm like, well. You're not living in New York City, baby. Yeah, fuck it. Not me. <laughs> you you may, you might be. <laughs> yeah, you actually may be. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's I to me, I'm like, uh, gig bags are only cool if you're doing like local shows and you're really comfortable with the venue. Well, what's cool is like, like you're... you have to be comfortable with the venue. What if you go somewhere and you have no idea and like you're basically like, oh, throw everybody throw your gear in this fucking corner here. Yeah. You're like, oh shit, great. I have my guitar <laughs> in a gig bag slamming against Someone hard cases threw, yeah. because like somebody thought but ahead of me and brought a hard case. <laughs> well, <laughs> and yeah. then you're like, shit, I got two guitars well, now. Or but got, you don't have I to worry two, about got, the tuning I, on yours, I Brian. Got a two piece guitar now. <laughs> yeah. Not two guitars. <laughs> um, that glue fucked up on my it just gave on out. my neck. Yeah, so that I mean, sucked. I don't know. I'm mean, I'm really a big advocate. Get, oh Jesus Christ! I can't even speak. I'm a big advocate for hard cases, like for everything. Yeah, within reason. I'm like pedal boards, guitars. If I really like, if I had the like room for the it, gusto. Like, um, I did it once and we did the tour and I felt super com- you know, confident and comfortable and it looks badass when you're like combos and an ATA case, like yeah. lift off. But I'm not going to, I I just like, that takes up so much space and it adds like 20 more pounds to just like. put a, a moving blanket over it. Yeah. That should be fine. I'm like, yeah. and then now I'm at a point where I'm like. Well, it yeah. also depends on where your knobs are. My combo is all, my, yeah, like, I'm like, eh, my combo's all beat up. I'm like, eh, it's got mojo now. Well, your, was it your 80-30 combo? Yeah. yeah. Has the. Knobs, knobs on, on the top uh-huh. and they're hit re- recessed. Yeah. 
but your old reverb, your rocker verb had yeah. them on the front. Yeah. And they were stuck out a little bit. There yeah. was no metal cage hole hiding No, that there was. It, they were actually recessed. Oh. Like, but when, okay. You're like, shit, there goes my point. Anyways. <laughs> cool. Next Great, topic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's some trivia for you guys. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think I think it's cool, but it's like up to a point. I'm like, uh, cases for your amps yeah. are cool, but they're really not worth it. Like, beat the fuck out of your cab and your amp. It looks cooler. It is cooler. They're going to I mean, last. I have a hard case for my uh, rack-mounted... Uh, yeah. SVT three three pro. Yeah, and that's like it's it, it calls for a rack case at least. That's I think is a little different. I've seen, I fucking seen though. People just guys roll up it. with a SVT four, which is a little bit bigger, and they just throw and it just th- like in the back of the truck. Oh, I'm like, that guy. All right, dude, that guy's not doing music anymore, and I can fucking guarantee that he's, um, he's just like I should call him up and see what he's doing with that SVT four though. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I've seen that. And I'm like, oh, you don't have a case for that. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, we even have a case, a hard case for like cables and picks and shit like that. Just because yeah. like it's it's easier to have it all compartmental. Car, is that even a compartmentalized? Word? Is that even a word? It is today. That's what I wanted to say. I'm like I don't know, like I'm like stop myself. I'm like that's not a word. Anyways, so that's the word. I'm like having it all separated like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's so quick. And I'm like, oh, you know, pull the cables out. Kyle and I both know where to put the cables and the picks and stuff like that. And like, oh, you need, you need picks. We ran out of picks. Here you go. We've got picks right here in this little like, compartment here. And it's it's cool. It's smart. It makes it all great. And people like will look at it and be like, that's a, that's a big case you got It is there a big for, case and for like, like yeah, small things. Yeah. Like for mics and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's organized, bitch. You can't put a price on that. Yeah. Well, you can. 120 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Get one. <laughs> Um, I think that's about it. We like fuck. We drove that one into the dirt, and yeah. then we found other things while we were falling to the dirt. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I, I got, a, I got a light one, a quick one. Yeah, I was actually scrolling through the gram the other oh, day. Oh, you do that, and I got uh, like bombarded with a fucking sponsorship ad, and I'm like, you know what? You got me thinking. From like Lay's potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they're targeting you. <laughs> they're targeting the tone jerks. Yeah. Shit, they must. Okay. They they've been following us. They know what's up, <laughs> and because I'm like that sparked it to me. I'm like, they're like, you guys haven't talked about this yet. <laughs> what's your favorite chip? Or uh, favorite for chip. Uh, people in the UK, crisp, crisp. What's your favorite crisp? Um, I like the Maui onion from. I can't remember the name now. Maui onion is it? <laughs> it's a kettle chip. Okay, it's a kettle chip. It's potato chip. It's a potato chip. It's Maui onion. What is that one? Is that just like an onion? Like it's very salty. Yeah, but it's got like an onion flavor it's to just it. Just like me, salty, salty, salty <laughs> bastard, salty bastard. This, these are salty bastards. Um, no, it's fucking great. It's like uh, it go for me. It goes well with like if you're grilling something, that's the fucking thing to eat with it. Like you could fuck up and like grab like oh I'm gonna grab spicy nacho Doritos. You oh, fucked you, up. You, no, or, you fucked up. Don't you fucking say anything. You don't like sparsely nacho? Maui onion. No, I do like Maui onion, but like if you're grilling with your buds, dude, <laughs> you could like, okay, well, if you want your fucking dirty fingers, yeah, grab that shit. Uh, yeah, we, like I love the Gibson dirty fingers. It's a great humbucker. <laughs> Is that a pickup? <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing it back to gear. <laughs> bringing it around, trying to derail it. But yeah, so, um, okay. Well, I'm just going to throw mine out there. Um, it's the Hawaiian sweet Maui onion. Okay. That's it. My favorite is probably sun chips. Just original okay. sun chips. Sound, like, sun chips, the green ones? Uh, the blue ones. Just original. The blue ones. Oh, yeah. That's just like. Shit, not the orange ones. The cheddar no, ones. Those are just pretty tight, though. Those are but, really I mean, tight. I, shit. Maybe I can just like pull it back and just say all sun variation. Chips. Sun, sun chips. The yes. jalapeno ones. Uh, the Yeah, and then the uh, onion ones. That's the green those ones. Those are great. The oh, sour cream onions. Sour cream onion, yeah. Oh, fuck, man. Those are great. Um, but yeah, those are my jam. And like, I can just grab those. I'm like, you have those with sandwich, like cold sandwich, you're good. You're great. Just have those, like pop a bag open, boom. You're like, it's not too messy. Nothing on your fingers. Yeah. But sometimes I, you kind of alluded to sacrifice it. You sacrifice fingers. your fingers. And yeah. you're just going to like, look like a degenerate with like pink, like pow- uh, pink, like red, uh, like red, blood red, red, or like super like, like, like artificial pow- looking. Orange powder. Yeah. Like, I'll go Cheetos sometimes. Cheetos? Oh, yeah. Crunchy Cheetos. Crunchy. Okay. I was going to say. Yeah. Extra crunchy or just the regular crunchy? I didn't even know they had extra. They do. It's super extra, actually. 
Is that not, like a they don't thing? Have, not the basic crunchy. It's just extra crunchy. Extra. Okay. <laughs> what is it like? You're just chewing on like fucking plastic. You're like, yeah. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> no, I can't wait. To Cheetos see my, is pretty good. Can't wait to like see my dentist next time. <laughs> <laughs> um, another one. Um, it's so stupid. It's like the worst name ever mm-hmm. for a chip. But it's like I think they came out like in 2000 or 2001. It's uh, <laughs> the flavor twist. What? Yeah, it's a Frito product. Oh, was, was it was it Fritos flavor twist? Yeah, it's the it's the twist style chili cheese Fritos are damn no, good okay. too. Oh, God damn it, you are a basic bitch. Chili cheese Fritos are great. They're great. Um, okay, I like regular Fritos too. Okay, but yeah, chili no, yeah. cheese Fritos. If you want to have diarrhea later, <laughs> I should have never had yeah, that. Clean you out. <laughs> Keep you regular. <laughs> have that <laughs> yellow five just all up in that. Yeah. No, the okay, you're, 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 you're twisted. Yeah, <laughs> flavor twists. They're I don't know what they are. Like I don't know what they are. But I remember they came out, and I was like, "Shit, those are new. I'm gonna try them." And I've been addicted ever since. But you can only have like maybe like two handfuls, and then you're like, "I am. I feel like shit. I feel like garbage. Shouldn't have bought these." Wasn't it like free. It, it was like, like regret. It was like Frito Lay. Like they have like is it munchies? They those do. They have like the mix. It's like everything that went on the conveyor belt falls on the floor. They just sweep it up that's and like put a, it in its own that's bag. That's like a less, <laughs> like way less cr- classy Gardettos. Yeah. <laughs> Gardettos. <laughs> Doesn't have the bagel cuts. Yeah, like remember like Gardettos, you're like, man, like I would I remember my parents would get those. I'm like, man, these fucking suck. I just want the brown ones. I don't know yeah. what those are, but I'm like, they're I, like I, the, I, I would, the whole wheat bagels. I always would pick those bagel ones. Bagel slices. Yeah. <laughs> pick those ones out. This is way smaller than a bagel and it's and then super you get, dry. Like, somebody gets like fucked and they get the pretzels and you're like, <laughs> yeah. gotcha, bitch. At the very end, there's just pretzels <laughs> left. You're like oh like god, the, the heavier, denser, uh... yeah, the, the pretzel sticks or like O's or whatever the hell they are, and yeah. you're like, man, this sucks. This is just covered with the residue of the good ones, <laughs> <laughs> which weren't even really that good. <laughs> um, was it about Chex Mix? Were you about? I remember getting the bold Chex Mix. Like I think it was, I think I walking home from middle school. I'd stop by the rec center, and I wouldn't work out or do anything crazy like that. <laughs> I would stop at the vending machine. <laughs> I, got, I get the the Chex Mix bold and I was like damn it had like garlic powder or something yeah. in it and you're like shit man it's like a party in my mouth and like everybody's there <laughs> everyone's arriving everybody came <laughs> okay <laughs> that's what I was alluding to but you I ruined see, I can see your face you're like don't say it don't say don't it, say don't, it. Say it. <laughs> don't say it don't say it Oh, he said it. Yeah, I remember, like, oh, man, these are great. Yeah. I mean, I think there's different chips for different situations, right? Yeah. No, you could totally, you got to play by you, ear. You had your grilling one. Yeah. That's my grilling one, which is, like, the onion-flavored Maui onion from Maui Style. That's the name of the company, Maui yeah. Style. That's so your like grilling another one. Another stupid name. What about, like, sandwiches? Do you have, like, sandwiches that you prefer chips with? Um, I mean, I guess you have to play, like, like... What sandwich are you? I don't know. I guess uh, you're a tuna. No, you're not tuna. Oh, tuna? You're, you're a turkey. Fuck you. You don't even know me. I'm out of here. You don't even know me. Uh, turkey. You're a turkey guy because you're pretty basic. Um, I have to do the Maui onion. From... <laughs> 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 it's really good with everything, actually. Now okay. I'll say it. But I think I said grilling because last like a couple weeks ago we grilled. Yeah. Uh, and you're just like, with, I want with Telly Talks with Jim Bowers. And that's the one I bought because I saw on the shelf and I was like, boom, game changer. Yeah. This is gonna. Everyone's gonna be so super stoked on these, and, and they were. Yeah, it, it added to the party. No one expected to get chips, and they got chips, and they're delicious. I'm like, oh man, whoever, <laughs> whoever got these is a saint. I did. You know what? Kyle? Never mind. <laughs> You're not that great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quit taking all the glory. Someone else may have bought these. <laughs> um, yeah. Fuck. What about you? What's your like? If you have a, what's your favorite sandwich? Okay, picture in your head. Yeah. We don't want to hear it. Who gives a shit? What's your chip? Don't say sun chips. I, I know. I was, I was just about to. I could oh, do God. like, you know what? I could do like corn, like tortilla chips. Those yeah, are like, no, that's, that's true. Those are like versatile. Good. They'll, like, they'll pretty much go with anything. What too? Like so, you're at a party, bring like, you know, corn tortilla chips. People are going to be like, oh, great addition. Nobody's going to be like, oh no, we have too many corn tortilla chips. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Um, They're going to be like, oh no, this party's now lit. Do you eat Chipotle <laughs> a lot? No. It's been a while. Been a while, but um, uh, they have their chips they make there. Yeah, they're pretty. And sweet. they have they squeeze lemon on or lime on them. Yeah, lime and salt. 
boom, done, bag it. I like to have that too. Yeah. So I got my my burrito bowl. Those are yeah. Those are like and I like. Yeah, those are pretty sweet. Broke back into that. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? I broke <laughs> the bag I'm, open. Yeah. And you crack into it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, so I uh, you get your bowl, you scoop it into your chips, all mm-hmm. your fucking toppings, throw it in your mouth. Okay. That's a game changer. Yeah, what, are you going to throw it over your shoulder? Yeah. No. Oh, you could. <laughs> <for> good luck. <laughs> I think that's enough on chips. Jesus Christ. So if you guys have your favorite chips or crisps, let us know. Maybe there's, uh, we have some listeners in Australia. And if there's, uh, you know, anything that we just said, you guys are like, what the fuck is a sun chip? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let us know. Um, maybe you guys have your favorite crisps over there. Do they say crisps over there, or are you just making that up? You're just assuming because they're a former colony that didn't break away from the... Okay. (laughs) Okay, Mr. I paid attention in school. (laughs) I didn't finish my sentence, Where did that get you? It got you here with me. (laughs) I'm still here, bitch. You're hosting a podcast. No, I'm co-hosting a podcast. You think you're smart? Because you're a college boy? I don't think so. Took a couple courses and failed them. <laughs> you just never went to them. <laughs> you signed up for a couple courses at community yeah. college. And then quit. Wasted your money. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Get used to it. Welcome to the Tone Jerks. You think you know? You have no idea. <laughs> True life, Kyle yeah, McIntyre. Exactly. I'm a community college dropout. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, community, I'm a community college never went <laughs> yes you yeah uh i i at least showed fucking initiative <laughs> gravitas <laughs> i showed promise <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck let's bring it into the your this one's yours yeah so uh it's we, all mine we introduced this a uh, couple episodes ago and uh i liked it we're coming back with this one this is another edition of The Kyle Files. <laughs> okay. We're going to do quick fire like with these. Like, okay, give your take, and I'm going to like rebut, and we'll talk. Let's go for it. What's your first one? Zip ties on pedal boards. So that's the holy boards. WTF. Bo- the holy boards. Yeah. That type of shit. Yeah, so that makes it so... Like, you can't customize it at all. Yeah. Or- I mean, it, it makes it more permanent. Like, with... Like if you put it in a spot, you're like, oh, let me rip that up and move it over with a with Velcro. But this is like, shit, let me break out my fucking snips. Yeah. There goes the zip tie. <laughs> and then yeah, it's just uh, and I it feel looks like, it looks stupid. It looks cheesy. If, yeah, if they were like MXR pedals or something stupid, you're like, oh, that's fine. But like something that actually has like a graphic across the front, you're not gonna do that. Yeah, you're not gonna do that. I don't. For me, I wouldn't do it across an Earthquaker. I wouldn't do it across. A walrus. I wouldn't do do across spe- like especially like my serpents. Yeah, like ground my, control, my ground yeah. control serpents. I would not do that. Yeah, because like, like I look at that and go, that's covering part of like the hard work that someone put into making that pedal. Yeah, some yeah, somebody. That's what pisses me off. It's like put it on like Velcro is the perfect option for that. Yeah. Unless you're gonna hot glue it down. That's that's the next option. <laughs> the hot glue gun. <laughs> oh god, I just look at it and like it looks so. It looks like it's just gonna slide around. She was like, they "It's lock true. In. It, it can slide within that, like between the two, the stri- two points. Zip ties. Yeah, unless you zip tie it with like four zip ties. Oh god, like, that would and look the, so And then you're stupid. like, you're like, just stop, dog. And then um, <laughs> is this I'm your like, dog? Yeah, dog. Like, stop, dog. <laughs> uh, like it just looks like I'm like fuck. Like you look like you have no clue. And the thing is, like it's gonna slide. People's like, no, if you use two, it doesn't slide that much. People said it doesn't slide that much. I'm like, I like, I'm like, I don't know. I, I just think I'm like, it's not usable. It's not like, and I, I keep, I hate to harp and bring it back to that, but it's not like a giggable yeah. situation. Like it's not like conducive to gigging. I you like know? the ideas that have come out from that. Like they have the double two tier, like two tier. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. But if you do that, I'm going to put Velcro across that top row, mm-hmm. which I looked when I first saw it. I mean, there's a brand out there. Um, I've seen they have they have the lower tier, upper tier, but they're all zip tied. I'm like, that's a great idea, but why the fuck are those zip tied? Yeah, like you have this you have is, all those holes. Yeah. across that bottom and the top row. Yeah, I'm like you really only need slots or like a row. Yeah, and just across. put fucking Velcro on it. 
I I do like the idea of temple boards, which have the holes and you kind of like put the part of your pedal board, like you put a piece on your pedal that Uh locks into the pedal, like the temple boards and you screw it down. Yeah. Like I understand that because it's like, that is like you are, that pedal board is for your fucking gig in your situation. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. But how is that pedal attached to that little block? It's, um, it's, uh, adhesive. Really? Yeah. So it, it's like strong adhesive to this little block that then that will screw into the temple okay. board. Um, and, um, it was Tom from MXPX. He did the Tone Mob podcast and he talked about it. He's like, I don't want, he's like, I don't want shit. Like, cause like sometimes, he, shout out. yeah. Cause sometimes he's like, oh, I'm throwing my foot and just like stomping on my pedals. Yeah. And I don't want, you like, don't want to move. Cause I know Velcro can move. Cause sometimes, yeah. If you don't slightly. Have, if you don't have strong enough ones or. The dual lock or Get whatever. Get the 3M industrial grade Velcro. Yeah. And he's like, okay, like I've had it before. I was like, uh, like he like, he's like, oh, like I think he like kicked a pedal and it's like, it's moved. Like it's like popped off kind of. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> How am I going to kick that off? Yeah. He's like, okay. I get it. And then he's like, okay, where's, where's the temple board? It's like, okay, I want this to be foolproof. Like I want this to be bulletproof and I want to just like my, you know, fly and buy shows. You, know, you just drop it. You yeah. go, you, there's a backline there. You see it. Buy. Okay, cool. And so I'm like, he, he's like contingency together. I'm like, okay, that's cool. But the whole zip tie thing. Yeah. I think, I think temple or Velcro. That's all you got to do. Yeah. I think for me, as me discovering my tone and discovering yeah. things, the zip ties look fucking stupid. You know, they <laughs> look a, fucking it's a, dumb. It's a turn off. Yeah. But for like Velcro, I'm like, that's customizable. Cause I set up a board like four days ago and I've already ripped it apart. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's I mean, I'm like, yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, so, all right, so that that's a uh, zip ties. That's <sighs> zip, a no fuck zip ties. Uh, zone no go for the zip ties. Yeah, what's the next one? Straps, and I'm trying to put these together yeah. on that strap height. <laughs> what's, okay, okay. What about straps? What's what's a, a appropriate strap for Kyle style? You know, I think you you should be able to have a custom you know a customized strap that look that kind of conveys your personality. You know. But for me, I have all black. Mm-hmm. I have black. Yeah. Because it represents my heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you have these like gaudy fucking like diamond. Like, yes. Uh, fucking yeah. no, uh, I'm, rhinestone. I'm on, I'm on you with this. God damn it. It's just like so stupid. It's like, you're going to scratch your fucking guitar with that. Or like crazy graphics on it. You ever see the one yeah. that like it's printed? Like, no one can see that. Yeah. It's like, oh, I got Only pictures. Only you can yeah, see that. Pictures and shit like that. I guess. Uh, I, I'm all for usable. Straps. So I have the, uh, I have like the extra long like, Ernie Ball, Ernie ones, Ball yeah. straps. And yeah. I've had that f- since like 05, 06. Yeah. You've had like the same one. God. <laughs> and it looks fucking new still. <laughs> yeah. It looks great. What about for me? Would you call me out? I have a pink one yeah, with, fuck you. with stars on it. No, actually, that looks pretty cool because it matches. Because it's minimal. Yeah. It matches your style, dude. I'm just like hopping on it. I'm like, it's Cause okay. It, I'm cool. You're a star. I, I, I'm cool because it's minimal, right? Yeah. It's and a, I don't want to piss a, you off. You're on the other side of the table. Yeah. You're within reach. <laughs> but like so. the like big like leather straps and gaudy Huge ones. leather straps. I get like spreading out the weight across. With like you know, cobras on it. and like, You're on you know, stage for 30 minutes, like, man. Like flames and shit like that. You're you don't like, have to like sp- like. You're not up there. This isn't your eight-hour work shift, dude. <laughs> you don't need all, down. Your, all your flair on there. <laughs> yeah. No, but then that leads me to another one. Like, fire hose straps are actually pretty cool. <laughs> so those are cool. Those are cool, but fuck everything else. Yeah. <laughs> um, and what about strap height? Um, don't play under your chin, dude. You got to breathe. You got to swallow. Like you got to, like... Pete gotta, Wentz style? I yeah. always thought that was super like, shitty looking. playing across his nipples, man. <laughs> You got, we want to see the nips. Yeah, we got to see the nips. <laughs> no, I just felt like that was like super uh, outrageous and over the top. Yeah, it's like, dude, you're like in a in a punk, like pop punk, pop rock. Yeah, pop whatever band. You're, you're a pop band. You're barely I'll playing bass. You don't yeah. need to like get up there. Yeah, and although he has a pretty cool signature bass. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's <laughs> actually pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds stupid to say, but. Um, but your high, your the, strap, yeah, like, don't have like a signature just, strap. Take length. it down like six inches. Oh, yeah, dude, I, you had the P1 signature strap length. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> like I say, like to me, I'm kind of like um, just right at your your gut, right under your gut. Yeah, kind of a little lower, right at the the money. I want to cover my your <laughs> cover this. I and I don't want to give I people was, the whole show. I was talking with my buddy much. today, Alex. He was saying that. 
there's got to be a uh, you know they got to like chisel out a part of the guitar that lets it just ride right there and doesn't yeah. disrupt anything. <laughs> it's like you know you're I mean? just grinding on your own guitar. No, so you're not grinding on your guitar. You know, <laughs> I, I see people like I hear like belly height is good. Yeah, like kind of right at your belly is kind of where I you want to play. Right, right where the lower part of my bass is on my like upper thigh. Yeah, you play you play pretty low. You and I, I both, still you... play low, but it's not like it's not like. Dude, that guy's fucking punk rock. You and you, 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 we used to, you and I, I like me especially used to play like knee knocker, where I it was like he, it was like hanging at my knees. I was like Tom along. I was like trying to be like you, like you, like went out and like practiced playing lower, yeah, yeah, and lower. I was then, like, this is low as I want to go. And then um, you've kind of stuck there, and I've like gradually like realized like, oh, I keep raising it up. And to me, I'm like I'm playing my guitar pretty high, yeah. And then like other people, they grab my guitar. I'm like, ooh, this is really low. And for some of my straps, it's at the lowest it'll go. And people are like, can we raise this up? I'm like... I think it also has to do with how like, fat you are. Like, all right. And how yeah. tall you are. Maybe because I'm so fat. Hey, like, it's, like, it, it's like your BMI index is yeah. also should like, correspond with like <laughs> your strap strap length. What's what's the calculation that you have? Yeah, I don't. Well, I don't have. I don't have it. But it's, I don't it's, have it's, one. It's but we're working so on somebody, it. Somebody, somebody can. We got someone in the lab working on it. <laughs> we got the the tone jerks lab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a pen and a pad. Just don't be a dickhead and play at your fucking chin. And don't play too low either. Yeah, don't play too and low. Actually, too low is like, I, I'll let it that go. It still looks I'm, I'm, cooler. I'm too punk for, to it let that It still looks way cooler yeah. than playing too high. Yeah. So that, that's- like, I get it. Like, there's a comfort zone you, you where- guys, You guys get a pass. Don't tell anybody, but you guys get a pass. Yeah. We're having it too low. <laughs> too low. Too high. It's like, yeah. dude, it's hitting your Adam's apple. Like, because I just like to see like Tim, Tim Armstrong and I'm like, that's a cool motherfucker over there. <laughs> From Rancid. <laughs> I think everyone knows who Rancid is. I don't know. Some people might not, but yeah. Okay. okay. So that's strap height. Not So basically like not too hard, not too soft, right? It's got to be just yeah, right. Just right. It's got to be like, it's a Goldilocks, I guess. I was trying to go Motown Philly, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Goldilocks, Motown Philly, just right in the middle is good. You have like a good barrier you yeah. know, with that. Yeah. Oh, we have no- another one to uh, five string basses. Fuck you. So you, <laughs> yeah, so then uh, this is the all, next topic. This is all your bass shit. You have a bass list. This is the bass list. Yeah, we've bass already reached shit it. List. So five I, I string basses. I, I don't get. I don't really fucking get the five string man. I don't, like. Uh, it's I, like too low to hear sometimes. Yeah, you can't. You don't. Even, it's like wow, you look really proficient, but no one can hear you. Yeah, it's basically like <laughs> you're you're feeling it more than you hear it. Yeah, and I I don't. You gotta you gotta feel it, man. You gotta you gotta hear it. Yeah, you gotta feel and hear it. Yeah. But I'm you like, because I'm like, you know, I'm like playing an E, that's pretty low. That is pretty low. <laughs> but then they're like, no, we're going to B. We're going to fucking B. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm on, I'm on your case with this that one. What, I'm like, Dropped I, A, dude. Yeah. I'm like, to me, I'm like, can you even sing with that? No. No. I, most, I think, most people can't like accompany that type of shit. And and this is probably, this stems from like being confused about that, that fifth string. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared <laughs> and I'm confused. So, scared. so fuck. <laughs> not dazed and confused. This is scared and confused. <laughs> I'm phased. No, I and I really I really don't get the like the appeal. Uh, yeah, it's like when have you ever needed that? Never. Like, tell me, like maybe one song that you play on stage. No, there's never. I'm like, when do you ever play anything that that low? And and then if you look at the actual styling of a lot of, a lot of those, they look stupid. <laughs> Next it's, topic. it's just like it's like it's yeah i mean i i don't know i can't really riff off you with that one because i'm like yeah they, they kinda, do look dumb they do look dumb they, they're, it's, they're it's, it's a wider fretboard all the proportions are fucked up on like let's say a standard p bass you, you, yeah oh You're no like, a p bass five string oh my that God. is like it's like just don't it looks so fucking stupid yeah you look like, and then a, a five string music like, man it looks like a um uh ms paint Somebody took like a <laughs> that. And you then use they, that a lot, by the way. They put that into production. Yeah. yeah. And uh, all right, quality control is like, yep, sounds good. Looks like it's going to meet all the specs. And then like somebody at like their production, I'm like, put in the CNC. I'm like, do yeah. we have any like actual like legit coordinates? I'm like, nah, we got this uh, fucking Crayola. Like, it's, I think it's done on a napkin. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a cocktail napkin. A cocktail napkin. Oh, God, I think that is that a. The guy even spelled five string wrong. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that fucking Jack Daniels on there? No, no, no. Oh, so Jerry. Wild turkey, and it's two buck Chuck. Jesus Christ, this guy was having a good time. All right, <laughs> put it in, boys. <laughs> Just scan this one. <laughs> it looks like shit. If, so you didn't, if you didn't catch any of that, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moral of the story, it looks like shit. Um, and there, it's it's not necessary. That's that's my thing. Yeah. Unusable for me. I mean, for my style of music. <laughs> Zero out of ten would not bang. If you're a dickhead, <laughs> yeah, play a five string. Um, <laughs> uh, I got one more, and that's like this is what I was saying is d- deferred that uh, grabber reference earlier, which that grabber is a really cool bass. It's awesome. Johnny brought it. I mess with it a lot. I was a little, a little ticked off, you know? A little bummed out. A little, well, nah, you were not ticked. You were ticked. You I were was bummed. bummed. And now was, I'm ticked. Now, <laughs> and now I'm pissed. <laughs> um, they had flat wounds on it. So I feel like I couldn't reach the bass's full potential. You know, he yeah. like, uh, he put a handicap on that bass. Yeah. It's like the, it's like the wings were clipped. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> of that bass. Um, he put flat wounds and I was a little, uh, I don't know. I, don't, I hate flat wounds. Flat wounds are weird. He loves them, it's, which is it, cool it's, for it's him. A, it's a third. Uh, it's like a, th- a third. Jesus. <laughs> it's a certain sound that is thumpy, and um, yeah. And they they were fresh flat wounds. He was kept saying like, "Oh, they're fresh flat wounds." They're brand I'm like, new, dude. They're brand yeah, new. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. This this is still not round wound, dude. I want that twang. You want that kind of like? I want that like digging in kind of grindy yeah, the, sound. Like, run, yeah, and I just wasn't getting it, but. It still sounded really cool for what it was. It still it still sounded like a legit bass. But yeah, you were. I like, still wanted that. I want to like. Oh, I want that fucking. I'm missing that tone. But so I mean, it works for. I should have just. I should have pulled out my clippers and just put new just, strings on and just cut them right in front of his eyes. And it's like, here, thanks, dude. Here's some. Here, thanks for bringing me. Here's some slinky. It's a really nice bass, though. I really uh, love it. Like, yeah. And he'll yeah. listen to this and probably send me a message and be like, "Fuck <laughs> you, man. We're done. We're fucking done here." <laughs> But flat wounds, not not my thing. Because you were saying, if you want to sit like low, if you want to sit like behind everyone in the band, yeah. play flat wounds. But like uh, round wounds, you can get those and just roll your tone back. Yeah, right. Yeah, you Johnny, get the, you get, get, you, get round wounds, roll your tone back. You get the flat wound sound. Yeah, that's all you need to do, dude. Get that's it. it. That's I guess that's it. That's really like a hate on Johnny. Actually, I'm sorry, Johnny. Yeah, we love you. Okay, uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna rein it in here, Kyle. Uh, you yeah. think you're you're done? Yeah, I think I'm cool down. I'm cool, all right, cool down a little bit. Yeah. All right, I think uh, we're gonna pull it in. But I before we go, uh, we're just gonna say uh, thank you guys for tuning into the show. And yeah. if you guys like what you hear, you guys can find us on Facebook and Instagram to search for the Tone Jerks, and you guys can uh, be, you know, a little help and be a part of the show. Yeah, join we got a group. You can uh, yeah, jump in, group. jump in on the conversation. We talk about stuff right after. Episode comes out and you know, kind we, of whatever. You guys can help. Uh, sometimes we uh, ask for topics too, so you guys can help like direct the show in a cool way. Yeah. And Instagram, we always po- posting fucking danky ass memes, and danky ass shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and if you guys really like the show, you guys can help support the show on our Patreon. You guys yeah. can become patrons on Patreon. And we just want to give a quick shout out to all of our uh, patrons and guys who have uh, supported us so far. So. Uh, big shout out to uh, Jim Bowers, yeah. uh, Romjorn, MCG. He goes by multiple names. <laughs> yeah, we can't even keep track. Um, Joseph from Like My Pedals. We have RJ from uh, Teletalks YouTube. Uh, we have Doug Gan, Doug Gon. We don't really know. Either Let way. Let us know, dude. Yeah. We have Abe <laughs> Newman and Michael Newman. Uh, no relation. We have uh, Mr. Johnny Ray, Johnny Two Guns. Uh, sorry we called you for the flat rounds. but Yeah, no. sorry, dude. Had to be done. And then we have Paul and Co. Uh, from the Flippin' Flippers podcast. So they drop every Tuesday. Check them out after you're done listening to this one. And then we have uh, Fat Foot Effects. And it's so fucking close. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, like check out their Instagram. Check out their page. Like, they have something dropping really soon. You know, just keep an eye out for Fat Foot Effects. They, they I'm telling you, can't, like, give too much away. But, you know... And then uh, we uh, we have a new one. Yeah, this is Will Leahy. Leahy. Le- Lehu. Lehu. Yeah. Lehu. I can, I, I'm really bad at <laughs> at reading. I don't know how to Jesus read or Christ. write. So how is it? Could it be Lehu or Lehu. That's so, the only uh, yeah, real way to correct really say it. We don't know how to say some of your guys' names. God. So, but you guys are supporting us. This is Lehu. Lehu. Okay, and your name's been changed. So I think... You guys. Yeah. And if you guys, like I was saying uh, before, uh, supporting the show and you guys uh, for as little as $1 a month and at $2 a month, you guys get an extra episode every week. We upload it to the Patreon feed. You guys get an RSS feed and you guys get the behind the scenes shit. 
some of the real uh, gritty nitty gritty on that one (laughs) (laughs) so thank you guys so much i think we're about done here and uh i think we're gonna close it out see you next week all right bye we love you bye